Hello, welcome to another Wise Guys tutoring video. And this is another in our series in the BA2 Plus calculator videos on compound interest. And in this one, we're going to look at uh, present value and future value calculations. Okay. So, bring in the old calculator. You have an opportunity to invest $1,000 in an investment that will earn 6.9% compounded quarterly for the next five years. What is the maturity value of this investment? All right, so let's start at the top. So the first thing we see is that we can invest $1,000 in an investment that will earn 6.9% compounded quarterly for the next five years. What is the maturity value of this investment? So the first thing is, the question is asking, what is the maturity value? So maturity value, that's our future value. So then if we want to invest $1,000, this then must be our present value. We will earn 6.9%, so this is our percent, so this will be our interest, our IY. And then compounded quarterly, so this is our CY, compounding periods per year. And then for the next five years, so the five years, this will be our N. Okay, so now I'll just, we'll just quickly write out the row of buttons and the PY and the CY. And then we'll just fill the numbers in as we see them. So the first number was 1,000 PB, and then 6.9 IY, quarterly for the CY, five years for the N, and then we want to find maturity values. So a little question mark beside future value. There are no payments in this question, so I'm going to put a zero beside PMT. When there's no payments, the PY must be the same as the CY. PY must equal the CY. So in this question, the CY is 4, so then the PY will be 4 as well. And then to calculate the N, the N should be calculated by years times PY. So in this case, PY is 4, so then we're going to multiply by 4. So then 5 times 4 is 20. Okay. Also, I'm going to put the present value in as a negative. That way I get a positive answer for the future value. So now, to enter this data into the calculator, well, the light gray row of buttons here will be everything from N to FE. PY and CY have to be entered separately, and we'll show you how to do that when we get to the PY and the CY. Let's just start entering the numbers in order here. So the first number we have is 20. So we type in the number 20, and then you hit the N button. So 20 N. And then 6.9. So now for interest, you don't change this to a percent to a decimal. You just leave it as a percent. So then you hit 6.9 and then you hit the IY. And then for the thousand, now we are going to make that a negative. So type in the thousand. Oops. If you uh, accidentally type in too many numbers, you can hit the backspace key here just under the on off button. Just hit it once to bring it back to a thousand. And then the plus minus button is down here. Uh, beside the decimal point. So then we're going to hit that next to make it negative. And then we hit the PB. And then zero payment, so then we're going to hit zero PMT. Now we're going to leave FE uh, alone because that's our question mark. So now to do the PY and the CY, PY and CY is hidden under second function IY. So second, IY. First thing that comes up is the PY, which is 4. So then we'll type in 4. Now you have to hit the Enter button this time because there's no PY button. It's just uh, it's a second function button. And when you go into the second function, you have to hit the Enter button. 
And then the enter button gives you this little equal sign after the PY. That's how we know it's in the calculator. Now, another thing that happens is as soon as you hit the enter button and push the down arrow once to go to the CY, after you hit the enter button for PY, CY automatically changes to match the PY. So then CY automatically becomes 4 as well. So then after we know that they're both 4, and again we have the equal sign beside the CY, we can now second quit. And quit is just the CPT button. So we're going to go second, CPT, and we're out. So now the last step is to now find this FE. So then what we do now is we hit the CPT button and then we hit the FE button. And so then this is our f amount of money that we will get from our investment. Now it is money so I'm rounding to two decimals and since the third decimal is a two I'm not going to worry about rounding the four up. So our final answer is $1,407.84. Okay, so that's changing present value to future value. So we knew that because the question said, what is the maturity value? Maturity value is future value. So then from the top, when it talked about the investment of $1,000, that's our present value. And then it told us it will earn 6.9% compounded quarterly. So the 6.9, that was our percent. So then that's our IY. And then quarterly, that's our CY. And then for the next five years, so five years will be used to figure out our N. So then we just brought the numbers down. So we brought PV down to 1,000, IY 6.9, quarterly down to the CY, five years for the N. And then we have to remember that since there's no payments, the PY must equal the CY. So then PY also had to be 4. And then once we put the 4 for the PY, we then could figure out N by multiplying years times the PY. So then 5 times 4 is, gives us 20N. So then once we had all that, we then just entered the numbers entered the PY and the CY, and find, found our future value. All right, let's try one more. And now, if you want to clear your worksheet so that you have all the buttons don't have a value to them, so to clear the worksheet, you can go second function, FE. And above FE, it says CL, CLRTVM, clear time value worksheet. So then if we go second FE, that makes all of these buttons set to zero. All right, let's see what the second question wants us to do. Uh, you would like to have an accumulated amount of $10,000 in a special savings account that pays you an interest of 7.4% compounded monthly in three years, how much would you have to invest today? So the question is, how much do you have to invest today? So that's like asking for the present value. So then the $10,000 is the amount that we want to accumulate. So that's going to be a future value. And then it goes on to say the uh, special savings accounts will pay you an interest of 7.4% compounded monthly. So 7.4%, that's going to be our interest rate, or IY. And then it's compounded monthly, so monthly is going to be our CY. And then in three years, so this is going to be our N. So let's write out the row of buttons again. So let's start filling them in. So the 10,000 future value. Uh, there's going to be no payments, so I'm just going to put a zero there. The interest rate is 7.4, compounded monthly. So CY is going to be monthly or 12 for three years. Now, 
We have no payments again, so then the PY must be the same as CY, so they're both going to be 12, so then my N is going to be 3 times 12, which is 36. And then our present value is what we're looking for, so we put a question mark beside the present value. Okay, so let's start with the numbers. So we got 36 N, and then 7.4 IY. Skip the PB and put zero payment. And then we're going to make this uh, 10,000, we're going to make this negative, so we get a positive answer. So then 10,000, the plus minus button, future value. So now again, PY, CY, they're the same, but they're located under second IY, so second IY. And we're going to change the PY to 12. And then you got to remember, enter button. And then when we hit the enter, when we push the down arrow, we see that CY has also been changed to 12. So then we can go second compute or second quit. And then PV is what we want to solve for. So compute PV. Compute PV. So then we have to invest $8,014. And this time we have a 5 as our third decimal, so that's going to cause the 1 to round up to a 2, so 62 cents. So $8,014.62 is how much we have to invest today so that we can have a maturity value of $10,000 in three years. All right, so let's just do a quick review. First, let's just start with the question. The question was, how much would you have to invest today? So since we're asking for the amount of today, that's our present value. Because remember, present value is today's dollars. So then the 10,000 is the amount we want to accumulate to. So that's our future value. Future value. The interest rate was 7.4, compounded monthly. And then the PY became 12 because there's no payments. So PY and CY were the same. And then for three years, so then 3 times 12, 36. And then we just enter the numbers into our row of buttons, enter the PY and CY separately, and compute the present value. All right. This has been another presentation of the Wise Guys Tutoring Videos. If you have any problems, you can get a hold of us uh, through the RRC website. Thank you, and have yourselves a good day.